Hello everyone and welcome back again to the channel. This is Marco Bersani from the Bersani Law Firm and Partners from Italy, an Italian immigration law with expertise on the Italian citizenship application. Today we want to talk more deeper uh, into a really interesting argument, a really top hot argument today. We already talked about the problem, about the issues of getting the uh, an appointment at the Italian Council, local Italian Council. So how you can solve it, so how you can file your petition for Italian citizenship by the sense if you are unable to book your appointment at the Council. And I want to talk with you about some uh, case studies uh, so about real people, real stories. So uh, continue to watch the video because it's really, really interesting. Today you uh, understand, you will understand exactly how a case is uh, is processed by by us, by in general by uh, an attorney, and so what to expect, uh, what are the timelines, so on, all the details with some practical case studies. Let's start. These are two cases that we processed very recently because they are uh, one is from uh, was decided in September and one was decided on this October. So they are really really fresh cases. There are one case from London, so from the UK, and one from the United States from San Francisco. So many times people uh, ask to us to talk about the United States, but what the other countries? Well. That's right, that's a good question. So we want to also talk a little bit with other cases for the same issues, but for other countries. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel because maybe many, the other time we will talk about the South America, Australia, Canada. So all countries there, there is the same issues as from the US and from UK. The first case was processed by a client's family uh, so more clients from uh, London, so from the UK, United Kingdom. Um, the case was filed in uh, 2020, the late, the end of late uh, 2020, at the Italian Tribunal in Rome. Quick note about that, if you maybe read, and we also talk about that in other videos, now the, the rules are changed. So starting from July of this year, July 2022, you have not necessary to file your case uh, at the Italian uh, Tribunal in Rome, but you need to file your case at the local Italian immigration courts, depending on where your ancestor was born. This case was filed, of course, in 2020, so I mean, we uh, applied the past rules, so every, all cases were filed in Rome. The family uh, of the client had the same issues that almost everybody today, still today, are facing, so the lack of appointments at the Italian consulate. So these clients try every day, every day, because they try to email the consul, the consul never reply, and they read online that each year, that each day, the consul will open new slots on midnight, so every time on midnight, uh, they try to connect on the website, but there are no spots available. So you may understand for sure, because I, I'm pretty sure that you are facing the same issues. You may understand the frustration to spend month and month and months every day, every day to try. And so there are no appointments. So first of all, before talking about the lack of appointments, the issue of taking an appointment at the consulate, we have to uh, file the case together with all the documents. So all the vital records proving that you have a start Italian ancestor and the right of citizenship is passed through all generation until you as a main applicant, as an appellant. When it comes to the, uh, the petition, what is really important is to describe the case and explain the judge why you are uh, claiming your Italian citizenship. So what are the documents proving your rights uh, of having Italian citizenship for you and for your family members, of course. After that, when you file the petition, you need to describe, you need to explain to the court why you are at the court and you are not at the consulate because the court will say to you okay i understand that you have the right of citizenship but why you are here why if the law says to you you need to file through the consulate so why you are filing here you need to prove that you tried your best effort to have for having an appointment at the consulate so the the judge is the only um is the only savior in this 
situation. So it's the only authorities that can declare you an Italian citizen because uh, the lack of appointments. So you need to provide evidences. You need to prove that it was impossible, really impossible for you for having an appointment. In this uh, situation, what basically you need? We need to uh, prove that at the court by, uh, for example, deposit some emails that you sent to the consulate where you asked the consulate, you complained with the consulate about the lack of appointments, asking the consulate to uh, make something. So please help me make set my appointment manually because it's impossible to do that through the online website called Prenotomy. That is the only way to book your consular appointment. It's important to collect all the evidence so what in concrete you see on the portal we need that the judge will check what you what you saw at the time because of course the judge won't connect on the website for checking and so you need to provide like the the video shot or screenshot of what you see so the generally 99% of cases when you try to book your appointment and that is not possible there is a pop-up notification that says there are no appointment available without telling you when will be the first post. So that's it. There are no appointments available. That's it. Stop. Game over. In this way, we can prove that you tried your best effort. You tried to contact the consulate. You follow the instruction of the consular website because you connect, you register on the website, you log into the portal, and then you try to having your consular appointment. So you tried your best effort. And so we filed the case describing the situation, describing the family heritage, the Italian heritage, uh, with, of course, depositing all the documents, all the vital records documents, proving the right of Italian citizenship. At the hearing date, the judge will check the documents. We will describe the case and the judge will check all the documents. But right now, uh, because of the COVID-19 new rules, all these type of cases can be also handled online, for example, by a video meeting with the judge. It really depends on case by case basis. So it really depends what the judge will decide. The judge uh, approved the case so the clients uh, won won the lawsuit and the judge what did that the judge said in this case so what are the legal basis for one for winning the case the judge says that by the law the article number two of the law 241 of the year 1990 that is the general rule that regulating the administrative process all the processes for the public and public administration must be ended until certain terms until certain legal terms so first of all the judge says be aware, administration, that you always need, beside what you are doing, you need to, by the law, you need to all um, to to end the the process in certain legal terms. In this case, the judge says the legal term is regulated by the article the article three of the law DPR 362 of the year 1994. And it says that law says that the administration on the application for Italian citizenship by descent must process, so must, co must end the process in maximum two years. The judge says in this case, of course, if you cannot book your appointment, the administration is violating the legal term. Because, of course, if you are not even unable to book your appointment, the administration is blocking you to file your application and so is violating the two years terms. The public administration is a public administration office, a public government office. So they cannot just stop. They cannot stop you to, or to claim your rights. So you have always the right to file a petition and they have to, to decide the petition in maximum two years. So the fact that they are blocking the petition means that they are violating your rights to claim your Italian signature. So what it means that the case was won, so what the judge says exactly into the, into the sentence, the judge, uh, there is a judicial order, so the judge orders order to the administration to register the birth certificate of the clients in Italy. So your birth certificate will be transcribed in Italy because you are considered Italian citizen since your birth. So that's what happened with this case from the UK. The same thing happened in uh, the US, the United States, from another case that is really recent. This case was filed 
from a client and family members living in um, in California, in the north of California. So the jurisdiction was technically uh, the Italian consul in San Francisco. We filed the case for the same reason, lack of appointments at the Italian consul in San Francisco. Of course, the tribunal is wrong because of course at that time last, last year the previous law was in place so all cases were filing at the tribunal in Rome and so the judge made the same we did the same for the client so uh, describing the case describing the rights of citizenship proving with all the documents the vita records starting from the italian answer to the client and uh, at the same time we provided all the evidences that it was really impossible to book an appointment in the san francisco consulate the judge said the same thing so the clients, the applicants proved that the consulate in San Francisco is not able to guarantee appointments of the applicants. And so um, it goes also recalling the, the law, the article 3 of the law of the, of the year 1994, uh, the consulate is violating the legal term of two years for processing and deciding, hopefully approving a case. If you are still facing like it is, for example, in the US, so if you are still facing these issues, so it's month that you are trying to book your appointments. I understand your frustration, but we understand your frustration because the team receive everyday questions, emails about this type of issues. But in this case, uh, be positive because there are solutions. The course in Italy knows about the problem, knows about the issues and they know how they can solve it. So do not hesitate to contact us if you are facing this issue uh, because we can solve it. We can represent you, we can represent all your family members too. This is really important because we can file one petition for all your family members. We just need each power of attorney, one power of attorney for each power family members, of course. But we can file a petition for all the family members that share the same family Italian bloodline, the same family line. We always do a pre-check of your case, a free eligibility check of your case, so we will We'll check if your case is eligible for finding the application free of charge and then after that we will advise you on the best strategy on the best application strategy so in this case of course if you can if you can demonstrate that you try to book appointments and this month that you try it's literally impossible do not worry do not worry we are here for assisting you and we are here for assisting your family members to accomplish your goal uh, we can claim your Italian citizenship by the same through an Italian immigration court. Again, as always, if you have questions, if you have comments, you can leave a comment here also on YouTube channel, uh, here on, on the, under this video, uh, because we are <laughs> the team is always happy to reply to your comments. Uh, of course, we cannot do consultation on YouTube, so if you need a consultation you need or an eligibility check, we kindly ask you to contact us to, uh, through our website um, so we can evaluate your case and we can eventually also set a consultation call for, for you for talking more deeply uh, about, about your case. Anyway, do not hesitate to contact us and also to follow us on our uh, YouTube channel. You can subscribe so you can be updated with all the new videos that we will post and you can also follow us on our social media on twitter linkedin on facebook and instagram too so do not hesitate to follow us so we really love to be in touch with you so see you in the next video thank you again for your time